Hello and welcome to this Science Vision video. Now in this video we're going to look at factors affecting photosynthesis. Now hopefully by now you've looked at the photosynthesis video and in this one we're going to see exactly what it is can affect the rate of photosynthesis. Well basically there are three factors temperature, carbon dioxide concentration and light intensity. Let's look at each one of those in turn starting first of all with temperature. Now here's a classic graph on the x-axis here we've got temperature and the y-axis here we've got rate of photosynthesis. Now this could be for example measured by number of oxygen bubbles released by the plant or something. So we can measure this quite simply also measure temperature and we can do this experiment at range of temperatures. Now this is what sort of graph we expect. Now as the temperature rises so does the rate of now this here is my abbreviation for photosynthesis, okay? So as temperature rises, so does the rate of photosynthesis. Now at this part of the graph here, temperature is the limiting rate. As the temperature approaches about 45 degrees Celsius, okay, which is about here perhaps, the enzymes inside the plant start to what we call denature. Now you may come across this word before. Denature means to break apart, to stop functioning properly and the rate of photosynthesis falls to zero. So this is the optimum here, this could be about sort of 35, 40 degrees optimum here. As it goes over this peak, the heat starts to break the enzymes down, denature them, and so photosynthesis slows down. Eventually the enzymes will start functioning about here. Okay, so that's temperature. Now carbon dioxide. Again, same sort of graph. Along here you've got carbon dioxide concentration and up here rate of photosynthesis look at the shape of the graph this time. Okay, Now at this point here carbon dioxide increases and so does the rate of photosynthesis. Okay, Now at this point of the graph now this symbol here means concentration of carbon dioxide. It's a very shorthand way of writing down this very long term here. So rather than write down carbon dioxide concentration I've put this here. So please don't get confused by it. Now at this point carbon dioxide is the limiting factor. Okay, so that graph here, as photosynthesis increases, it's limited by carbon dioxide until this point is reached. Now from this point onwards, it doesn't matter how much you increase the concentration of carbon dioxide, it has no other effect on the rate of photosynthesis. So now, limiting factor isn't carbon dioxide, it must be now light or temperature. Okay, and lastly, let's look at light intensity. Same sort of graph, rate of photosynthesis here, light intensity here. Now this part of the graph, light intensity increases and as it does so, so does the rate of photosynthesis. Okay, so at this point light intensity is the limiting factor. But get to this point and no matter how much you increase light intensity it has no further effect on photosynthesis. So limiting factor must now be either the concentration gradient or temperature. Okay, so have you got that? If not, flick back to the three graphs and make sure you understand the profile of the graphs and also what are limiting factors in each stage. Okay, so three limiting factors are temperature, carbon dioxide concentration, and light intensity. Thank you for watching this video. For more free science vision videos, please go to my site at www.sciencevisionvideo.com. Thanks for watching.